Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be doing a mace exercise. We will be starting from our order position and we will be moving through an uppercut to our outside 180. We are going to continue working on this outside 180 degree rotating pullover because I like it and it's in a bunch of sword forms that I really like. We are gonna start from our order position. If our order position is good, basically we can be very good at heavy clubs or at maces. 90 degree angle, our upper arm is generally vertical. The important part is that our lower arm is parallel to the ground, so our wrist can be in good position. If we're too high, our wrist is not going to be strong. We're gonna start from our order position. Our other hand is going to go. Palm faces away from us, thumb points down. We're gonna rotate the mace until it is parallel to the ground. We are going to continue the rotation until the heavy part of the mace is pointed straight down. We're gonna rotate up horizontal again. As we do this movement, it's going to be smooth and it's going to turn into our outside rotating 180 pullover. Then we are going to reverse it to get back to the starting position. Inside 180 pullover, palm faces away, thumb points down, rotate, and stand all the way back up. Take this hand off to prove to yourself that you are in a good order position and that you are balancing the mace effectively. Palm faces away, thumb points down. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, rotating outside 180 pullover. Go back to the beginning. Inside 180 pullover, <sighs> prove to yourself it's in balance. Palm faces away, thumb points down. Kung Fu people will recognize these things because these movements are in all of Kung Fu. And I like Kung Fu, so we're just gonna do a bunch of them. As you get better at this, this movement is going to become bigger and smoother. When we break it down, we're doing it staccato right now so you can learn the movements, but over time, make them bigger and smoother. Let's demonstrate it on the other side because most people need to see it on two sides to learn effectively. Hold in our good order position so our wrist is in a good spot. That lets us know that our starting position is good. Hand goes out. Palm faces away from you, thumb points down. Grip, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Rotate and pull over. At this point, the heavier the mace is, the more you're gonna rotate your chest towards the mace. Do it for now without moving your feet. Bring it back. Mace behind the head, rotate back to center, arm goes out. Mace is vertical, mace is horizontal, mace is vertical. Start over. Find that balance point to prove to yourself that you're doing it right. Over time, you will just flash this top hand to prove that this one is holding on. Holding like this is generally hard, and this is a hard position for the shoulder. You can make that its own exercise if you want. We are gonna take this movement and we are going to make it more complex over time. Start with this basic version, doing just one side, get all the way into the move, get all the way back to the starting point, rock in, rock out. Set a timer, do it for time. Light mace is the key for this exercise. 